make this wig look more realistic. This wig is It Curl by Raquel Welsh in the colour Biscuit. Now I actually want more of a shaded biscuit colour so today I'm going to put some roots in this wig and I think some of the weft lines in the back can be a bit seen because of this blonde colour so I'm going to darken those up as well. The first step is to get yourself a root concealer. This is a root concealer spray for human hair. I just use the L'Oreal but this is not a sponsored video and I find that this is really good because if it doesn't work you can usually wash it out. When you're using these spray bottles give them a really good shake first. Make sure that the spray is spreading out nicely without any drips. So that's looking better now. Now It Curl has a really nice lace front and the lace front on this wig is made of very light fibres and I really like that because it does add to the realism of the wig. So I'm not going to darken any of that lace front. I'm going to leave that as it is and I'm just going to start going through down the central part line. And it's good to just smooth that out a little bit Now that's just a really subtle change. You can darken that to whichever depth that you feel comfortable with. Now I usually tip the wig upside down and I get to the weft lines that are near the crown. The fibres on this wig are really lovely, they're really realistic, but I'm just wanting to darken them up a little bit for my complexion. Now you can make that root length as long or as short as you feel comfortable with. Start short, pop the wig on and then if you want to make that root length more then go over it again with your concealer. And just following those weft lines right around to the side of the wig. And this is just going to add some depth as well. If you're a really natural blonde person and you really love the, the more of a blonde root, that's fine. But some of us uh, have a deeper complexion and we need to have a bit of a deeper root. just following down to the base of the wig and I'm just putting a bit I'm just colouring around the base of that wig but not around the front I don't want to colour around the front where the lace front is this is just the base of the wig so I've just gone from the crown all the way back to the nape of the neck but just in this section here. So now I'm going to move to the side and do the same process back to the nape of the neck of the wig again. And I'm trying to get right in there to those weft lines and colour those up, not just the hair. Moving to the side again, and to those weft lines. Now here I'm nearly to the front of the wig, so I'm going to be very careful that I don't get onto this beautiful lace front. But I'm just going to add some depth around the side of the face and darken up some of this lighter part of the wig that I feel can show. Then back to the middle, the centre of the wig again. So I've done on this left hand side 
And now I'm going to do the same process on that right hand side. So I'm going to start at the crown and look for where I haven't done. Making sure I'm going to get into those wefts. the way back down to the nape of the neck I'm just going to color up again that bit there around the edge of the hairline and the back of the nape of the neck so in case I want to put my hair up there, it's going to be darker here and blend in more with the bit of my natural hair that's down on the nape of my neck. Going through each weft line. Now I've started off with the light brown, you could do a dark brown. And then just go through making sure you haven't left any weft lines out. There's a piece there that I've missed, so I'm going to colour that up. Now I think you can see here now that where I lifted up before where you could see those weft lines through there now that darker colour is adding a bit of shadow and covering that area up which is really great. So just following through any areas that you've missed. Now here I'm at the front of the wig where the lace front is, so I'm going to be particularly careful and take my time there so that I don't get any of this on those really light fibres that when I pull the hair back on this wig it's going to be more natural and it's not going to have the darker pluggy look that some of the lace fronts can have if they have dark fibres and dark rooting. But I still want to add some depth and dimension in that front part of the wig. Now if you get any parts that has gone on the wrong bit, just pull that through the fibres so that it's just going to colour up some of the fibres and not look like just a dark blob. Now you can do that to add some extra depth to your wig as well. Now I'm coming to the right side of the wig and I'm just going to check along the lace front starting up here so I'm not going to touch that. There's a little bit in here. So here I'm at the front of the wig, the lace front is starting here. So I'm just going to do across this first weft line, pull that through a bit with my fingers, just go down that weft line. And there there's another blonde part that hasn't been done. Spread that through. Pull that through some of those fibres across the top just to blend that through. I like to make sure that I've got a little bit more darker area just at the crown. I think it's looking pretty good now. Now for me I think that's looking a lot more realistic. I'm going to put her on and let you see the finished product. This is It Curl which is a little bit too curly for me so I'm going to try and straighten her hair out a little bit 
and get her to look a little bit more like Raquel Welsh's Editor's Pig. So here's it curl taken from Biscuit to more of a shaded Biscuit and I've put that shading in myself. You can do a bit of an ear tuck if you like. Now I have blended a little bit of my own hair just around the hairline there and I think some of the It Curl wig I will darken a little bit more around here with a darker colour than the light brown. And check out my other videos on Julie's Wig World and please definitely put some comments down below. Any questions you have, I absolutely love to answer your questions and any video ideas that you'd like me to shoot, let me know. And YouTube's going to have another video selected just for you.